see how this installation compares to the installation of Snow Leopard on my MacBook that I uh, did back in August. So it's reading the disc. Waiting for, oh, here we go. She's about to start. You know what to run? Yes, I do. Set up. Of course, Windows is now warning me about itself. And like I said I've been beta testing uh, Windows 7 off and on since January. Uh, but this is the check compatibility. No, if this isn't compatible, then we've got a serious problem. So I'm going to install now. And if it comes up with a list of programs I have to uninstall, um, I might be kind of pissy. So it's copying temporary files. La la la. Stop this for a second. You can probably see my reflection in the background. And I know people have complained about that in my other videos, but if you don't like my reflection, well, it's too bad, really. Setup is now starting. Now when I installed the beta and release candidate versions, it was fairly quick, although I wasn't doing an upgrade. Um, those were all clean installs because I was running them on my uh, my old laptop. And usually it was just a direct upgrade from Windows XP. Setup is starting. Okay, I want to go online and get the latest updates. For the love of God, yes. I want to help make Windows installation better. No, because as far as I can tell, I think Microsoft just ignores the information anyway. Well, there we go. So we do have some installation updates. A lot considering this has been up for a day. Probably one of the last appearances of my Windows Vista taskbar. Please wait. Well, you don't really have any choice but to accept the terms, so yes, I accept the terms. Upgrade. Unlike XP to Vista, we'll see if this actually works. Checking compatibility. See, this is where you might run into a problem if it brings up a list of programs. And I am assuming most of the programs I'm running on here are fairly recent. Um, they've all been released at least since Windows Vista, so I'm hoping that there aren't going to be any problems with my programs, especially those that I use on a regular basis, uh, but we'll see. Okay, so here's my message. iTunes, please authorize computer, or deauthorize computer prior to upgrade, you have to do that. Uh, my graphics card, so that's going to be fun. Uh, Google Toolbar. Go figure. So I'm gonna go do those and I'll be back. Hey, it's about 15 minutes later. I've uninstalled Google Toolbar and deauthorized my iTunes account. So now we're actually going to the installation process. This is a screen that I'm sure lots of people have seen. Anyone who's done an upgrade from Vista or Windows 7 will be seeing this screen. And I don't think we need to sit here and watch it, so I'm going to go back to the work that I'm currently doing on my Mac. Uh, but I shall see you all shortly when this is done. Okay, so it's about an hour, or maybe a little more than an hour since uh, I shot my last segment. The computer is just about ready to restart. And uh, we'll see if I'm going to have fun reinstalling my graphics card. Oh goody. Okay, so it's ready to start. Same little startup picture thing that they had with the beta and release candidate versions. And while we wait, Lexi is uh, Quite excited about this process. Setup is updating registry settings. And setup is now starting services.
Now we're installing devices and setting up services. Please wait. I have a feeling this may take a while. Ah, there we go. So, it looks like my graphics card will not be a problem, so that's good. Right, and I'm going to have to leave it at this for a while, uh, but I will be back shortly. Well, I guess in the case of this video, I'll be back in about one second. Alright, and here we are several hours later. Uh, it's been sitting for a while, and now it wants my product key. So just a moment, and I'll put that in. Alright, so keys entered brings us to the screen. Use recommended settings. Time zone, yes, yes, security key, security key is entered, All network. Okay, and now it's finalizing. Preparing my desktop. And here we are a couple minutes later. It's been preparing my desktop for a while. Oh. And there we go. Looks like it's up and running. I hope. Yep, there we go. Stop items are coming back. Get the monitor. Sounds working. Internet's up. Okay, and there you go. So that is Windows 7 installed on my computer. I'm going to play around with it for a bit and make sure everything works and I will report back. But for now, I guess that is the end of this video, so goodbye.